parents get very sad when their child has a diagnosis of asthma. And what I want to say is that for the majority of people, they should be able to have normal, happy, healthy, active, active lives and manage their asthma at the same time. The American Lung Association has an asthma quality improvement initiative. Over the last 10 years, we have worked with 230 primary care clinics across the country to really build their capacity to deliver high quality asthma care for their patients. As medical director, I believe that the biggest benefit we can offer our patients is to provide them access to high quality care. So one of the chronic diseases that many of our patients struggle with is asthma, and we really wanted to improve some of our clinic workflows and our strategies and our policies around asthma. It was one of the best programs we participated in all year. We, through this partnership, got access to some of the latest guidelines and latest research, and our asthma numbers, our optimal asthma care, and patients who are under good control markedly went up. I guarantee you it's as a result of our partnership with ALA. We are able to measure six quality indicators that show that providers can enhance and sustain the guidelines-based asthma care. We measure those indicators at a baseline date and then again at 12 months to ensure that the program has provided opportunities for the clinic to improve their care and then at 18 months to measure continued sustainability of their efforts. One of the best things about this project for me is the way it is proactive. We have a big provider shortage in New Mexico, and this project brings trainings to them that they wouldn't have access to otherwise. For example, half the clinics do not do spirometry testing when we start. So we set up the platform for them to integrate those best practices. This was new. With this program, we um, implement the spirometry in primary care. Before we we just said, well, this patient has asthma, but we didn't know if it is mild, moderate, or severe, persistent asthma. So um, getting an adequate diagnosis is helping a lot for a right treatment for the patients. As an FQHC, we're always short on resources, both people, money, and time. The spirometry training that we received was a game changer for us. We received spirometers for both of our clinic sites. That, in and of itself, I'll say, was worth the price of admission. But then we started having monthly meetings with some of the other clinics who were participating, and I think that that accountability was really important for us because we had to come every month and say, okay, these are the things we said we were going to be working on, this is the work that we've done, these are the struggles that we're having, and through that accountability, we could provide support to the other clinics that were struggling in their areas, and they provided support to us where we were struggling in our areas. It was a great partnership. All of the resources that the American Lung Association was willing to provide were precisely the resources we needed at that moment to continue our journey for quality improvement. All of a sudden, there was a program that would support us in that part of our quality journey. And now I'm confident that we're going to be able to show better compliance with medication as a result of our partnership with the American Lung Association. The core issue about any kind of chronic disease management is knowledge and education about all the different facets. So, asthma controller medications are the key to asthma therapy. Daily use of inhaled steroids really is very effective at decreasing that swelling or inflammation in the airways and helps to prevent asthma episodes that can be caused by exposure to viruses or allergy triggers. In addition to spirometry, we learn about different asthma medication inhalation devices. We can do asthma 101 for some of their medical assistance. And many times, because of the provider shortage, treatments are moved farther and farther down the skill level ladder. So we are helping them meet that challenge it helps to train not only the providers, but also the medical assistants. We had a free uh, spirometry and 
education tools to show the patients how the asthma pathophysiology and how works the medication, so that was very good. Our evaluation of the Clinical Quality Improvement Program, linking health claims data with clinical quality improvement process measures, is extremely unique. This is the only evaluation that has been able to demonstrate clinical quality improvement, health utilization reductions, and a return on investment. We've been able to measure that for the year before the Quality Improvement Initiative to the year after the Quality Improvement Initiative, we can reduce hospitalizations and asthma-related emergency department visits by over 55%. We can also save health plans money. For every dollar the American Lung Association invests in our quality improvement initiative, that a health plan will save $2.40.